Hey guys, what's going on? This is the Generic YouTuber, and today we're going to be talking about disappointing games. Uh, this is episode number two, so if you guys are enjoying the series so far, be sure to leave a like, and be sure to comment, and be sure to subscribe. So, I'm trying to do this on one take today, and today we're going to be talking about the game Destiny, as you guys saw in the title and thumbnail now. Destiny is very, very controversial, just uh, game-wise, because you either love it or you hate it, and personally, I don't like it. That's why it's on this kind of this list right here. Uh, I don't like it for a few reasons I'm gonna go over today and I'm gonna say why I think it didn't it failed to deliver so yeah let's jump right into it so destiny if you guys don't know is the uh, everyone knows destiny but just a, a quick rundown of it it's from the makers of halo so Bungie uh, actually based in in uh, from where I come from so uh so yeah right by Seattle and what it kind of is, it's like a sci-fi on the edge of the solar system, and you get to travel different planets and stuff. And it's open world RPG. Uh, it's called a shared, they're calling it a shared world shooter. But it's basically an MMO. Uh, and it, it was a lot of fun for the first 15, 20 minutes until that you realize there is no story. There was limited, there was bad multiplayer, limited places to explore. And the main, your main uh, protagonist friend was very annoying. Now, this game has a, a lot of flaws, but it for every flaw, it does something very well. Like, like the setting itself is amazing. After after Earth and all this, after all this stuff has happened, you're still here and you are still alive and you are still doing all these things to fight the aliens that are coming in now the alien breeds are pretty much not different they're just kind of reskinned and re uh physicalized i guess like they have different shapes it's like the fallen have four arms but the cabal are like big or whatever you know and they're all their respective planets and stuff so it's pretty much a straightforward kind of idea it just takes a long time to do and that's why no one's in it for it and I'm glad Bungie took on the project, and it's a 10-year thing, so the next, uh, the next Destiny could be decent, to say the least, hopefully, but, you know, it's, uh, it, it honestly didn't deliver in a few ways, so, w one of the ways it didn't deliver was the loot system, now, the loot system was very weird, like, you can grind, and personally, I, you guys know this about me, I hate the grind, absolutely hate the grind, so, Personally, uh, it. So I'm trying to put this into context here. If you played for like three hours, fighting the hardest enemies you can fight at your level, you you may not only level up, possibly once, maybe not, e probably not even once at the, at the later levels. You will not get you. There's a possibility you won't get any loot, and that's a pretty big possibility. Now, if you're playing things like WoW. Or maybe even Far Cry 4, I guess. If you like, that's an RPG, but it's not really a shared world shooter. It's not really an MMO. If you play stuff like that in three hours, it's gonna get you a lot. Maybe not World of Warcraft the later levels, but let's just refer it to Far Cry 4, okay? And I know it's kind of a weird comparison, but just think about it. So, in three hours in Far Cry 4, you're gonna get better guns, better probably skins, you know. Uh, you're gonna ride in cars and stuff and In destiny in three hours you can get a gun that's made for level six when you're level 10 so It's not as good as it, it's not as good as it could be the loot system is not good as good as it could be but For one of the for like I said for every single one of the faults it has something good about it now One of the things that I had awesome about it was the strikes now the strikes are a vehicle that you can that you can summon up at any time in the game and you can ride it anywhere and it goes anywhere and the strikes were a lot of fun the strikes were really a lot of fun and that was a very good so if you guys if Bungie is listening to us please keep the strikes in destiny 2 I think they're called strikes strikes s h r i k e s I think is how you spell it uh, so next is the story the story I actually didn't even finish because it was just so unentertaining honestly the only reason I went to the story was to unlock the next planet because I did everything else on the first planet so I got to the moon finished everything up there uh, and then kind of went to the next story mission to unlock the next planet and I honestly the, on the only mission I remember from destiny 
I, I haven't played it in a few months now, but the only mission, mission I remember from Destiny is the mission where you get the Sword of Crota. Now, what the Sword of Crota does is like the super powerful sword that they want to like destroy it or something. See, I can't even remember. I can't remember what they want to do with it because it's just so unengaging. But basically, what you got to do in this in this mission was you got to take the take the sword and fight your way out of like the Hive headquarters or whatever on the moon. And it was in like a third person. And you got to like bash people with swords and it was like super super powerful and it was a lot a lot of fun that mission i must have replayed about six to seven times if you would have made every fit mission that fun i wouldn't care about the story i honestly wouldn't and at that point i really didn't care about the story I, it would still have been a good game if you made every mission that fun would have been phenomenal but the fact that the story was lacking in the way it was i mean i think all i know from the story is that there's like this big thing called the Traveler that came over Earth and protected it for whatever, and people, p human lifespan quadrupled or something like that, and you got to like explore in the Golden Age, and then you figure out there's like alien races and they came to kill you or whatever. Now, that is all I know of the story, all of it, and I know that you are something called like a guardian who can protect humanity on the last day on Earth. That's pretty much it, just the basics. So if you could have made the story a lot more memorable, I think that would have, uh, it probably honestly would have kept it off this list. If, if Destiny, if Bungie would have done what they do best, which is make commemorating, uh, commemorating stories, Destiny would not be on this disappointing games right now. And last thing I'm going to talk about today is the world expansion. Now what this is, is it's how much you can explore each world. So or, there's only one place and it's not even that big. Uh, on every planet to explore like I mean it's interesting to see how it's done one of my favorite things to do is is see how other people uh, think about the apocalypse or if something catastrophic was to happen so for me it was really really cool to see how Bungie envisioned the world when it kind of went went south you know and it was a lot of fun to it was a lot of fun to walk around earth and ride around earth on, on our uh, on our strikes and kill the fallen and, and all this stuff and get loot every once in a while it was a lot of fun and doing the side missions whenever you wanted to was a lot of fun too that was a, the way they did the side missions was really really good but it just didn't end up working the way they wanted it to be now if you could have explored the entire planet even if there were big spots where nothing was going on it still would have been a lot cooler than having one place you can explore so yeah, anyway, thank you all for watching. Please don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe. And this has been Disappointing Games. My name has been the Generic YouTuber. And I'll see you guys in the next video.